Jennifer from Fiberflux. In this video, we're gonna be learning how to crochet the woven color block dishcloths. This is a set of dishcloths, so it makes a nice gift, or you can keep a few sizes around on hand for different jobs that you may have around the house. And I've made them so that all the colors kind of coordinate together. This is made using uh, front post and back post stitches. So when you change colors using this type of stitch, it creates a really interesting little transition from one color to the other. It almost looks like it's embroidered using a running stitch or sewn together or something like that. So it makes a really interesting little detail in the cloth. There are three sizes. There is a large size that is 10 inches square. The medium is eight inches square, and then the smaller size is six inches square. So there's three different sizes, and at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to add this optional hanging loop, which is a nice little detail to have uh, for drying or what have you. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook. You'll need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a ruler or tape measure is helpful, not totally necessary, but I like to have one on hand, and your yarn. I'm gonna be using a yarn. Now I use three colors here, and this is what I had left. So I had, I was able to get all three sizes, and I had quite a bit of yarn left. So I could probably make a few more out of my leftovers. I used the Cotton Erin paint box yarn, and this is, let's see, 93 yards per ball. So just to give you an idea, I use three balls of this, three different colors. And if you're wondering about the particular colors that I use, because I love the colors that this yarn comes in, I used, uh, this one is called Pansy Purple, this one is called Raspberry Pink, and this one is called Tea Rose. So I used um, just this really nice, it kind of almost looks like berries, like the shades of pinks and purples that I have here. So, um, and again, you can probably get some more dishcloths out of this yarn. Okay, we are going to be making this smaller size together. However, it's really easy to make the other sizes. It's basically the same pattern with a different starting chain. So I'm gonna go into that in a little more in just a moment. But um, we're gonna start with this uh, lighter, it's almost like a pale pinky lilac color. So for the small size, we want to chain 22. For the medium, we want to chain 26. And for the large, we want to chain 32. Okay, so just backing up again, we're going to do chain 22 for the small, chain 26 for the medium, chain 32 for the large one. Okay, so all we're going to do is put a slip knot on our hook, wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop, Bring the yarn behind the loop, reach in with your hook, bring up the loop and tighten, just like that. Then we're going to chain 22. So wrap the yarn around your hook and bring it through. That's one. Wrap the yarn around the hook, pull it through. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, 21, and 22, okay? So here is our starting chain, and you don't want it to be too tight because it'll kind of draw in the bottom of your work and be a little bit misshapen. So if you're having trouble with uh, getting your starting chain loose, go up to a K hook, which is the next size up, and just do your starting chain with the K hook, and then you can always switch back to the I hook for the remainder of the project, okay? So what we're gonna do for row one, this is only uh, two rows, and we'll be repeating actually row two for the project. So in the third chain from the hook, this loop here does not count. We're gonna go one, two, three. So in this third chain from the hook, we're going to work a double crochet. So wrap the yarn around the hook, insert it into that third chain from the hook, Bring up a loop, you'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook. Then what we're gonna do is simply work a double crochet in each of the remaining chains. So we're just gonna work our double crochets all the way across. If you're new to making double crochets, just back up a little bit in this video and you can watch it more slowly 
like I did that first one. Okay, so we're just going to work our double crochets all the way across the row here. Whoops, there we go. And then when you get to the end, we're going to move on to row two and that's where we're going to start doing these post stitches and you're going to start to really see the woven effect of the fabric. Okay, I'm just working double crochets in every single chain all the way across. And as you're working into these chains, just make sure things don't get twisted, keep everything nice and straight. Okay, just a few more chains left. And our last chain here, just work that double crochet. Okay, so row one should look something like this. Okay, so for row two, what we're gonna do is chain three, one, two, three, and turn our work. Now, in this first post that you see here all the way on the end is gonna be kind of where our chain is sitting on top of. So that next one that you come to, we're going to work a front post double crochet. So what you wanna do, it's very similar to a regular double crochet. Just wrap yarn around hook and bring your hook up under the post. See how the post is over top of it? Wrap the yarn around the hook, bring it through the way you came. You'll have three loops on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on the hook, okay? The next stitch, we're going to work a back post double crochet. So that's also very similar. Work, uh, wrap yarn around hook, bring the yarn to the back, or the hook to the back of your work, come up over top of the post and back down. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the way you came. Whoops, let me do that again, I dropped it. Bring it back through the way you came. Three loops are on the hook. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the first two loops. Wrap yarn around hook, bring it through the last two loops on your hook, just like that. So we're just gonna be repeating this all the way across. So let me get a little bit more yarn here. So we're gonna next work a front post double crochet, come up underneath. and then a back post double crochet into the next stitch. Then work a front post double crochet and a back post double crochet. Front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet. Alternating these post stitches, the front and the back, is what's gonna give you that woven look. So you can see already we have quite a bit of texture on our project, okay? Just keep going across, working your front post double crochet, the back post double crochet, Then the front post. Then the back post. Sometimes you have to look back and see what you've just done to kind of see what to do next. Then the front post, and we're just coming up to the end here. Whoops, then the back post. And the front post. And the back post. 
Okay, so now we're at the end of the row. And then to finish off the row, so see we have that nice texture now. To finish off the row, uh, remember the chain uh, at the end. Actually, we still have one more there. There we go. Now the turning chain at the end of the row there, it, it might kind of fold behind it just because of the nature of these stitches. Uh, count one, two, three chains up, and then you're gonna work a double crochet in that topmost chain of your turning chain. Just like that to finish off the row, okay? So this is our dishcloth so far. Okay, so to finish your dishcloth, you're just gonna be repeating row two over and over and over. So let's just get started uh, and I'll show you how to transition. So once again, chain three, one, two, three, turn your work. Now, once we flip it over, we're gonna do the same thing. The first stitch will be a front post double crochet. The next stitch will be a back post double crochet. And just as a side note, these dishcloths are completely reversible. Okay, so we're just gonna be repeating this all the way across. And as we work more and more rows, our, text, our dishcloth is going to get a lot more texture and it's going to, you can already start to see kind of this woven effect that it's getting. Okay, so we're just going to keep repeating this all the way across. Now once we get to the end of this row, again, we're just repeating row two, but I'm going to show you how to switch colors. Now for these dishcloths over here, I didn't switch colors until, you know, I got quite uh, high up, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna show you how to do it now. And you can really do the color block wherever you want. You can make it striped. Um, if you're not into the color block, you can just keep going with the same color. But if you'd like to switch color, because this certain back post and front post double crochet, it's really nice to, um, when it makes that transition, it just makes such an interesting little detail. So I'm just going to continue to the end of the row, and then when we get to the end of this row, let's uh, learn how to switch colors next, which is super duper easy, okay? So just keep repeating row two. Okay, so when you're ready to switch colors, you can just work that stitch, remember that topmost turning chain. And then all you need to do is I like to just cut the yarn and tie a new color on. Now, if you have a preferred way of joining yarn, please feel free to do that. There's tons of ways to do it. Okay, so I am going to just fasten off with the lighter purple here and then just grab another color. So what we can do is, I'm gonna give this a fresh cut because it's a little unravely. There we go. Okay, so all you wanna do is that last stitch that you worked, just insert the hook and bring the new yarn through, just like that. And then you can just tie it right on. Now, again, there are lots of ways to do this. This is just super easy. Always make your project uh, enjoyable for you and customized to you if you have a certain way that you prefer to do things. Okay, so then just reinsert your hook back into that same stitch bring up a loop of the new yarn, and then chain three, one, two, three, to begin the row again. And then you're just gonna be, once again, repeating row two. Now once you switch colors, these stitches really start to pop out and come to life as you're working them. So let me just work a few and I'll show you what we have so far. Okay, so once you work a few stitches, you can start to see how the colors will start to interact with one another, okay? So what we're gonna do to finish our project is just keep repeating row two over and over and over. And then once your dishcloth is the same width and height, once you have a nice square happening, and if you wanna just kind of eyeball it, you can take a corner and fold it down. And if everything kind of lines up on the sides of the triangle, you can, you can measure too, obviously, but if you sort of like fold it down and everything lines up like a nice neat triangle, uh, that also is um, an indication that you have a square shape. So just keep working row two over and over and over until your width and your height is the same. And then I'm gonna show you how to do an optional hanging loop and we'll finish up our dishcloths as well. Okay, so I'm just adding that very last 
double crochet of the row. Now, if you'd like to add a hanging loop like the one here, there's a really easy way to do it. Before you fasten off, all we're gonna do is simply chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then we're gonna take it back down to where we left off and join with a slip stitch at the base. So see that very bottom of the double crochet that we just did? Just insert the hook, bring up a loop. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook. We now we have an easy uh, little hanging loop for our dishcloth if you need to hang it up to dry, okay? So to finish off our dishcloth, all we need to do is cut the yarn and fasten that off and pull it nice and snug to make sure it's secure. Okay, now we can weave in the end. Just thread your tapestry needle and we're gonna stay in this dark purple area just because we don't want that end that we're weaving to kind of stand out in this light area. So if you're doing like a color block look like this one, just make sure you keep the ends in the same area of color. Okay, and then just come back through the other side and then you're gonna pull it through and then grab your scissors and just give it a little tug and snip and things should kind of disappear, okay? So our dishcloths are finished. Now we have a full set. They all have little hanging loops and I kind of mixed up the colors a little bit to kind of have them coordinate with one another. So that is how you crochet the woven color block dishcloths. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiberflux video updates. Thanks again.